Welcome to Edupedia World. In this module, we will discuss the meaning of index numbers. We have learned in the previous chapters how summary measures can be obtained from a mass of data. Now we will learn how to obtain summary measures of change in a group of related variables. We observe changes in industrial output, prices, income, level, supply of money, etc. In order to know the extent of changes over a period of time, we use index numbers. Historically, the first index was constructed in 1764 to compare the Italian price index in 1750 with the price level in 1500. Initially, index numbers were used to measure effects of change in prices. But today, index numbers have become widely used measures to study changes in cost of living, production, exports, imports, etc. In this chapter, we will study about index number in details. So, we are living in the fast-changing economy. In dynamic economics, we see that there are continuous change in the size of population, output, income, money supply, price of commodities, etc. Changes in the economy have their own impact on the level of economic activities, income and employment general price level and so on. We know that most value change and we are interested in knowing the extent of changes which have taken place over a period of time. For example, we may want to compare the average price level of different items of food in 2013 with what it was in 2002. The changes in consumption, production, exports, imports, cost of living, national income, accidents, crimes, business failures and many other phenomena are studied with the help of index numbers. Now we come to the meaning of index number. Before we understand the meaning of index numbers, let us study the following examples. Ravi goes to the market after a long gap. He finds that prices of most commodities have changed. Some items have become costlier while others have become cheaper. On his return from the market, he tells his father about the change in price of each and every item. It is bewildering to both. Another example, an industrial worker was earning a salary of Rs. 1000 in 1982. Today he earns Rs. 12,000. Can his standard of living be said to have risen 12 times during this period? By how much should his salary be raised so that he is as well off as before? There are sample of questions you confront in your daily life. A study of index numbers helps in analyzing these questions. So, an index number is a statistical device for measuring changes in the magnitude of a group of related variables over a period of time. It is a measure of the average change in a group of related variables over two different situations. Thus, we can say that the index numbers of wholesale prices is 115 for January 2008 compared to January 2007. It means that there is a net increase in the prices of wholesale commodities to the extent of 15% during the year. Thus, an index number is a statistical device for measuring relative changes in the magnitude of a group of related variables over time. Conventionally, index numbers are expressed in terms of percentage. Index number measure the change with respect to time, geographical location or some other characteristics. The comparison may be between categories such as persons, schools, hospitals, etc. It also measures the changes in the value of variables like prices of specified list of commodities, volume of production in different sectors of an industry, production of various agriculture crops, cost of living, etc. Of the two periods, the period with which the comparison is to be made is known as base period. That is, if index number is prepared to know how much the price has changed in 2005 from the level in 1998, then 1998 becomes the base year. The value in the base period is given the index number 100. For example, if index of price is 200 in 2009, compared to 100 in the base year 2005, 
it suggests that prices have risen by 100% compared to the base year. Therefore, study of index number helps us to know percentage change in the values of different variables over a period of time with reference to the base year. Index numbers are known as barometer of economic activity as they are used to feel the pulse of an economy. Now let us read some of the definitions of index numbers given by the economist. In the words of Edgeworth, index number shows by its variation the changes in a magnitude which is not susceptible either of accurate measurement in itself or of direct valuation in practice. In the words of Croxton and Cowden, index numbers are devices for measuring differences in the magnitude of a group of related variables. In the words of Spiegel, an index number is a statistical measure designed to show changes in variable or a group of related variables with respect to time, geographical location or other characteristic. These are some of the definitions given by the economist about the index numbers. Now we come to features or characteristics of index numbers. The various features of index numbers are first index numbers are specialized averages. We have studied in the previous chapter that averages like mean, median or mode can be used to compare two or more series. However, if the units in which two or more series are expressed are different or if the series are composed of different types of item, then averages cannot be used to compare them. In such cases, index numbers help us in comparing change in series. Index numbers are used for comparison in such situations. For example, by constructing consumer price index, the various goods and services like fruit, clothing, electricity, fuel, etc. are expressed in different units. An average of all these goods and services expressed in different units is calculated by using the technique of index numbers. Next feature, index numbers are expressed in percentages. Index number measure relative percentage change in the variable over a period of time. Index numbers are expressed in percentages. These present estimates of percent change in the variables over time with reference to some basic year. The changes in magnitude of a group are expressed in terms of percentage which are independent of the units of measurement. This facilitates the comparison of two or more index number in different situations. However, percentage sign is never used. For example, if the index of the industrial production in is 128 in 1997 compared to 1996, it means there is a net increase in industrial production to the extent of 28%. Next feature, index numbers measure changes in composite and complex phenomena. Index numbers are used to measure changes in magnitude of certain phenomenon which are not capable of direct measurement. It is because certain phenomena are of composite and complex nature. For example, we cannot measure directly some phenomena such as standard of living or cost of living, value of money, purchasing power of people, etc. Therefore, we study relative changes in such phenomena by studying Variations in these values along with certain factors related to these. Now come to next feature that is index number measure the effect of changes in relation to time or place. Index number are used to compare changes which take place over periods of time between locations and in categories. Index numbers are constructed to make comparisons over different time periods with reference to some base year. In other words, index number measure changes in variables over time with reference to base year. Index number measure changes and compare economic condition of different business units, different places, different countries over a period of time in relation to some base year. For example, cost of living may be different at two different places at the same time or cost of living is one city can be compared across two periods of time. 
These are some of the features of index number. Next, we come to advantages of index numbers. Index numbers are designed for particular purpose. That is to measure change in group of related items so that scientific statement about such changes can be made. Index numbers are indispensable measures to study economic analysis. Let us see how are index numbers useful. First, helpful in formulation of policies. Index numbers help government and non-government entities to make policies on the basis of trends analyzed by index numbers. Index numbers are the measures of studying changes in related variables and they give us trends of change in these variables. Based on these tendencies, many policy decisions are taken. For example, cost of living index will help the government to decide the increase in DNS allowances. Next point, helpful in measuring inflation or deflation. Index numbers prepared to know the changes in price level will help us to find out the value of money over a time period. It will help us to assess the purchasing power of money. This will further help us to assess inflation or deflation in the economy. Accordingly, measures can be taken to correct inflation or deflation. Next point, helpful in knowing the changes in standard of living. Cost of living index numbers will help us to assess the standard of living of people. We will come to know that even if value of money has fallen, then standard of living may decline despite of increase in the monetary incomes. Thus, index numbers will indicate the effect of real income of people, purchasing power of people. Accordingly, adjustments on salaries and allowances of employees can be made by the employers. In other words, cost of living index numbers would suggest or indicate increase in salaries and allowances. Next point, useful to businessmen. Index numbers become a useful device for the business world. Price index numbers become a ready reckoner for business planning. Important decisions regarding production, cost and market trends can be taken. Next advantage is useful to assess exports and imports. Index numbers prepared for measuring changes in exports and imports provide useful information concerning foreign trade. Accordingly, policies regarding foreign trade can be formulated. It is a useful measure to keep a control on our foreign exchange reserve by encouraging inflow of foreign exchange exports and discouraging outflow of foreign exchange import. And the last advantage is it is useful to government. Index numbers help in comparing changes in studying the trend. Based on these trend, government of a country can determine its fiscal policy, monetary policy and foreign trade policy. It determines the level of output, income, employment for the country. It formulates wage policy by bringing increment in the wages in order to enable the wage earner maintain standard of his living. It assess and bring changes in various economic activities like industrial production, agricultural production, etc. These are some of the advantages of index numbers. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.